What's going on, Metalorians? Israel Galindo here. I hope you guys are doing great. I needed to do this video, not wanted to, but needed to do this video in regards to the USB link cable that goes to your Oculus 2, Rift, etc. The reason for it is because I had many, many, many issues with it, but let's get into that story right now after this intro. Okay, I'm back, so check this out. Laptops, desktops, PCs. When I got my Oculus, I really wanted to connect it to the PC. Now, we know that the Oculus Rift does that direct to PC connection. Mac is not supported yet. So I decided I wanted the full experience for PC, for DJing, for other things, for getting games online that can be connected to the device. Trying all those things did not work. Now, you guys have probably searched thousands of videos what do you mean is doesn't work? Well, we get this, we get the cable. By the way, $20 cable, $79 cable. $79 cable did not work from Oculus. Going to support with Oculus and you asking them, hey, I plug it all in, I turn it on, and I get a spinning wheel or I get a red mark showing it does not connect to the PC. Oculus states to us, guess what? Laptop is not compatible. Great, next. Buy a PC, get the PC connected. Guess what? Your video card is under a 3060 NVIDIA card. It needs to be above that. Sorry, next, get another computer, all in one, connected. Sorry, doesn't work. Next, seven computers later, believe it or not, four different types of cables from cables that are having to be infused with power, like this one here to a full cable coming straight from Oculus for $79 to an Amazon cable for $29. Now, this is a USB, USB-A. This is what they are, old school, USB-A to USB-C. When you install the software, as you're seeing in this video here, the USB cable that you get from Oculus itself are two USB-C connections, the little tiny ones. Now, a lot of computers don't have the USB-C connection, as we already know. Laptops do if they're newer. If they don't, it doesn't work. But the catch is three different things I'm going to show you in this video right now to make it work. Like I said, seven computers later, I ended up buying a $2,000 gaming laptop that I did not want to spend money on. I should not have spent money on it. Once I got that, I was excited. I plugged it in. It did not work. So cables were swapped. Same Oculus, reformatted the Oculus just to make it work. Brand new $2,000 laptop, doesn't work. Oculus support says, well, you're having an issue with your technology and something is wrong. Um, yeah, we kind of know that Oculus, so what's the word? What I ended up doing is I'm going to show you a couple of things that I had to do to make it work. The first thing you want to do, and I'm going to switch screens, this is the first thing. Take Oculus out of the equation. So this is the first thing you're going to do, and I'm going to take you step by step to make it work if you plug it in and it just spins and never connects. So this is what you want to do, number one. I know it sounds silly. This is what we're going to do. Ignore what's on the screen because that's the USB keyboard I'm about to tell you. If you have Windows 10, this is what you want to be using for Oculus. You're going to hit start, just like that. You're going to type the word PC. This is going to give you the PC properties. You're going to go to properties down here. When you go into PC properties, you are looking for one specific thing when you scroll down. And that's going to be, and yes, we've heard it a million times, the specifications version of Windows. And if my mouse moves slowly, here it is. You want to get the version 20H2. That is the latest version before you start going into the 21 version that goes into Windows 11. We do not want to use Windows 11 as Windows 11 does not work yet, another yet, with Oculus. And it should because a lot of people are buying computers now that have Windows 11. Now, the version 20 H2 has drivers that you will need to make it work with your Oculus. Very, very important for that. Also, the build could be this. It could be off by a few digits back here, 1525, 1524. As long as you have 20H2 in that, 
you are good. This is the first thing I want you to check. Now, the second thing is a Windows cable issue that we got to make sure we disable. You're going to hit start yet again, and you're going to type the word USB sleep. Now, when you see USB sleep, you will either get USB sleep settings or change USB sleep. These are the same thing as you in sleep mode. For that, if a lot of you don't see what you need to see, depending on the version of your Windows, you can also type the word sleep and you'll get the power and sleep settings. Now, we need to go into that and make sure that we scroll down to additional power settings. Now, for your Oculus experience, you want to go high performance. You don't want the computer to sleep. You don't want it to go to hibernate. That's what you want. You want to go into high performance, and then you want to change your plan settings. When you go into this, and a lot of you have seen other videos that you've already done this, work. like I've already done this, it doesn't work. But you want to make sure that you have this set in place. You're going to hit change, adapt, advanced power options. You're going to go to the USB settings section, and in the USB selective suspend settings. Usually it's turned on, you want to disable that. We do not want the USB selective suspended settings, not at all. Let's get that out of there, put it disable, hit OK. Now, once we've done all of those things, what do we want to do? We want to check the latest Windows updates again. So we're going to hit start one more time. And in the search window, you're going to type Windows updates, which you'll see is right up there, check for updates. We want to check those updates, and believe it or not, these are the things that I needed to do in a lot of the machines to make it work. Now, obviously, this computer I'm showing you right now does not allow Windows 11. We do not want Windows 11. I am up to date. If I really want to, I can go, again, we talked about 20H2. We want to do that, but do I need this accumulative? No, it's optional. As long as you have Windows 10 version 20H2 is what you want. If you do not have Windows 820H2, you can hit updates and it'll show you Windows 20H2 available. Go ahead and update that right away. Now let's talk about the cables for a second. Oculus sells you a very expensive $79 cable, which, you know what? I bought it, it did not work. And then I ended up getting the Anchor USB-C cable, USB 3 to see. Now the catch, and here's the biggest catch. You wanna get a cable that says it's version 3.2. That's the faster speed that's needed by USB for your Oculus to get a nicer experience. You want the USB 3.2 to USB-C. If you get the USB-C, you're going to need an adapter. So you just want to make sure that if you are getting these types of cables like the Oculus Direct cable that only comes with that, you're going to need an adapter that converts USB-C unless you are using a laptop that has the USB-C connection, which, like I said, the newer ones actually do. So here's the type of cables that you're looking for. This link cable, $20, right there for Oculus 2 by Haosui. That is a great cable. Now, remember, you're going to be walking around, so you're going to need a lot of speed. I mean, sorry, a lot of space. So you want to get a long cable. You don't want a three-foot cable. You want a minimum 12 to 16-foot cable. If you really have a big room, 20-foot is fine. And that's about $20 for that. And you will see that a lot of these are USB-A, the longer square, to USB-C, the smaller, which is connecting to your Oculus. Very important. If, again, you're getting one of these cables at Walmart that has a USB-C only, as you can see, some come with an adapter. The adapter is probably 2 or $3 to get that. So let's now go into what I was mentioning. So now that we've got the cable, now that you've got everything connected, what is the actual problem? You've been watching this video. You want to know what the actual problem is. Believe it or not, after all these updates and all of that, it's the way you connect it and boot it up. Let me give you an example back on my screen. In my main screen that we're going back to right now, in this screen, I would turn this on, get it going. I plug in the cable, right? Now this is on already. I plug in the cable. I would then take the other end and plug into the laptop, just as so. 
I would have the laptop up and running and I would open up the Oculus app. Now, what was I doing wrong when I would do the Oculus app opening? Well, when you open up the app and Oculus is already turned on, the system would not automatically recognize it and go into a spinning mode. Or if you did see the Oculus, it would still spin. It does not detect it if you already have one or two devices open. My suggestion, and this is the key that worked on every computer, all seven computers I talked to you guys about, this is how it ended up working. I ended up shutting down, believe it or not, I shut down the Oculus. I shut down the laptop. Yes, that's how I did it. I plugged the cables into both sides first. So think about it like when you're plugging in your phone to your charger, it's got to charge, right? Um, plug in the two devices. If it's a PC, do the same thing. Plug it in. Do not turn anything on yet. That is the key rule I tested in all seven machines that actually worked after the updates, the cable, et cetera. All cables worked and all of that. This is key. Both devices are off. Then what you want to do is you want to turn on the Oculus, but not log into it with your head. Just turn it on, let it be active as we call it. Then you're going to turn on the laptop. Now when, or the PC, you know, whatever you have going on, then you're gonna turn those on. When you get those turned on, then what you're going to see is you're gonna be in the home window. Now in the home window, what we're trying to accomplish is we wanna see that it sees that. Now, there is a key part that is very important that I can't show you on this screen right now because I don't have that, but I will add it into the video so you can see that. But basically, now that both devices are on and you've opened this, put on your Oculus, just as so, as I'm putting on right here. Put on our Oculus. When you turn on the Oculus, you're gonna get the menu saying, would you like to allow the data to be seen and connected to your PC? You're gonna hit yes, that's cool. That's not the actual trick. After that, you then are asked to set up your parameter, your area that you're gonna be in. And that's, that's normal. We do that all the time with Oculus without the PC. Once you've done that part, you are gonna get one more important pop-up, very important, it's about this big of a square, and it says, Enable Oculus Link. Yes, enable it or cancel. That is the key button you want to do. When you hit that key button, then, just then, you will be able to see your Oculus device green connected, or you might see that it might be needing, you know, higher performance, so it'll be orange, but at least you'll see the connection and you'll be able to play the games that way. Those are the key things you need to be doing when you're setting it up. Trust me, seven computer later, $2,000 on an extra computer, so that'll be number eight computer. Could not get it to work, I was very disappointed and I took a couple of hours to figure it out. That is key. It's the way you bring everything up. You know, just like when you're getting out of the car, you don't get out of the car without taking your seatbelt off. You gotta wear that seatbelt, remember that. So there is a procedure steps that you need to do. Once you've set up the, the Windows updates, the Oculus updates, the software updates, and so on, that key feature was having the devices off and connected first, then and turn on the device, then open up the application so they can talk to each other. Because the computer, if it sees an active device, it's gonna see the device, it's gonna see the software, and enabling that little pop-up at the end saying, yes, enable this, will give you the green lights across the board and you'll be able to play your Oculus games as you've been wanting to in your PC. Okay, everybody, I'm Israel Galindo. I hope you guys enjoyed that educational video, one to grow on if you're the 80s kid like I am. Don't forget, like and subscribe the video, forward it to your friends, and if you still can't get it to work, trust me, I spend a lot of time on this, Comment below. Let me know where you're stuck. Let me know how I can help. I'll throw it down and help you out. I'll talk to you on the next one. Metalorians, I'm out.